great way to start with a couple of Kathleen's, right? Um, so it's great to be with you for a second year in a row, and um, uh, just the energy coming off of the March for Science, um, also the on Earth Day, and then also the uh, climate change um, march. Really amazing to see the focus that we have in this country at this really critical time. And great to see the optimism, but this is also a room full of realists, I know. People who are focused on the bottom line and focused on the science that can be pretty scary right now. Uh, earlier this week, Stephen Hawking was interviewed, and he said that we need to start looking about colonizing another planet, not in the next thousand years, but in the next 100 years. Uh, if we continue on the trajectory that we're on right now. And that's a very sobering assessment to think about, um, having to leave this planet. And I think that's why so many people in this room are so focused on the mission that we have to combat climate change and to come up with smart, efficient, economical solutions to be able to turn back the clock on global warming. So I salute you for all of that and the work that you do. It's, a, it's an exciting time and it's a really critical time. And I think that Earth Day Network is really uniquely positioned to try to connect the billions of people on this world, in this world that will be affected by climate change, but also who have many of the solutions to what we need to be doing. Uh, they're the folks that are speaking up for science now uh, speaking up for environmental action, and also willing to work together on common sense solutions. And these are political activists, these are scientists, but these are also the business leaders in the room tonight, many of whom we are going to be saluting in this event. And so I'd like to just begin by introducing you to one of those leaders. Jerry Yoza and, uh, is going to be introducing us to an amazing program called Athletes for the Earth. Jerry is the senior manager of Toyota Mirai and has been a U.S. and global leader in promoting fuel cell technology as a zero emissions alternative to fossil fuels. Jerry's also been a friend and supporter of Earth Day Network for quite some time. Uh, in fact, she introduced the first Prius to a U.S. audience right here at Earth Day Network's event on the National Mall um, that was at Earth Day's 20th anniversary back in 1990. Imagine that long ago that we introduced that Prius, and now they just feel so regular on our roads, don't they? And really leading the way. So please welcome Jerry Yoza to the stage. Okay, well good evening everybody. Uh, Toyota is proud to be a longtime partner of Earth Day Network. Um, and as, as Kathleen and Kathleen mentioned, um, we've had this relationship for a long time. Um, I was there when we launched the first gen Prius on the mall, and um, we were very excited about that. But since then, our hybrids have evolved into 34 models worldwide and over 10 million sales with about a third in the U.S., while avoiding 77 million cubic tons of CO2 emissions and seven, saving 7.7 .7 billions of gallons of gas. So that's pretty amazing. So all of this experience with electrification has been brought to bear on the Toyota Mirai. It's a second generation zero emission fuel cell electric vehicle. So what does that mean? It means that there are zero greenhouse gas emissions from the vehicle's tailpipe. And talking about tailpipes, the only thing coming out of Mirai's tailpipe is water. Okay. Toyota has been engineering and testing fuel cell vehicles for more than two decades, about the same time we began R&D on the Prius. Fast forward to 2015, we were excited to partner again with Earth Day Network, debuting Mirai on the National Mall at Earth Day weekend. Since then, nearly 1,600 Mirai vehicles are now owned or leased by customers in California. And we plan to almost double that number by year's end, including expanding sales to the northeast states when the hydrogen fuel cell stations come online. Okay. And, we, and we did this with, as we did with Prius and Mirai, 
Toyota is taking another leap into fuel, uh, future technology. Two weeks ago, Toyota announced Project Portal, a hydrogen fuel cell powered semi truck, class eight, using two Mirai fuel cell stacks. This heavy duty truck produces 670 horsepower and 1,325 foot pounds of torque with an estimated driving range of 200 miles per fill up. This zero emission truck will take part in a feasibility study examining the potential of fuel, fuel cell technology in heavy duty applications and like Mirai, emitting nothing but water vapor. The study will begin this summer at the Port of Los Angeles and contribute to the Port's Clean Air Action Plan, which has dramatically reduced harmful emissions from operations since 2005. Toyota believes that hydrogen fuel cell technology has tremendous potential to become the powertrain of the future, from creating the world's first mass market fuel cell vehicles to introducing fuel cell buses in Japan, Toyota is expanding as a leader in expanding use of versatile and scalable zero emissions technology. With Project Portal, we're proud to help explore the societal benefits of a true zero emission heavy duty truck platform. But Project Portal is just part of the Toyota's on ongoing commitment to zero emissions technologies and reducing our carbon footprint. For 2017, Toyota is pleased to announce the exclusive corporate partnership with Earth Day Network's Athletes for the Earth program, a role we hope to maintain and grow through the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. The program's goal is to harness the voices of athletes to address climate change and work with Olympic and professional athletes to promote environmental stewardship through public service announcements and appearances. So far, we have engaged and created PSAs for two Olympic athletes. Elena Haidt, American Olympic snowboarder and the first woman ever to land a double backside alley-oop rodeo. And Amy Purdy, American world-class snowboarder and 2014 Paralympic bronze medalist. Amy is also an author and co-founder of Adaptive Action Sports. Before I share Amy Purdy's video, I will leave you with Toyota's vision of achieving zero impact environmental practices by 2020 or sooner. These challenges include reaching zero net carbon output from driving, vehicle life cycle and manufacturing, zero impact water use, eliminating nearly all waste through recycling and composting practices, and realizing true harmony with nature. You may have already seen the standing banners outside the door before coming in here. Clearly, we recognize a Herculean set of challenges, but Toyota is committed by, to taking the initiative and working towards these ambitious goals. So where do we go from here? All of us can take one action to commit to a cleaner, more sustainable world. I've made a small contribution by adding solar panels to my house and using LED lights, reducing water usage by tearing out my lawn and putting in artificial grass, and finally, eliminating any greenhouse gas emissions when driving my Toyota Mirai. So thank you very much, and we are excited by ending with Amy's amazing video.